In this video, I'm going to expose three more nasty tricks that Human Resources uses to cheat employees out of money, rights, and basic dignity. If you're not aware of these, it's only a matter of time before you fall for one. My name is Brannigan, and I'm an employment lawyer. Oh, and just like last time, these tricks get worse as we go, so keep watching. Trick number one, third party investigators. In the last video, I taught you that when you submit a complaint to your HR rep and he launches an investigation into the matter, the HR rep isn't interested in finding out what actually happened to you. He's only interested in finding the facts that protect the company. Because if he doesn't protect the company, he's going to get fired. So don't be surprised when HR concludes that he found no evidence of any wrongdoing. Well, believe it or not, it gets a lot worse than that. Upon receiving a complaint, some sophisticated HR departments skip this investigation entirely and hire an outside third-party investigator. Usually, this investigator is an HR consultant or an attorney. HR will explain to you that this investigator was hired to be neutral or unbiased. Sounds great, right? No, not at all. This is a very strategic deception. Think about it, right? Think about the people involved, who is paying who, and where their economic interests lie. The company's economic interest is pretty obvious. It wants the complaint to either disappear, or if it does get sued, it wants to have documentation in hand that will help get the lawsuit dismissed quickly. If the lawsuit goes all the way to trial, the company wants to be able to call a neutral outsider to take the stand and create the illusion that a fair and unbiased investigation took place. Okay, well what about the investigator? What is their economic interest? Good question. If you're thinking clearly, this is equally obvious. The investigator was hired by the company and is being paid thousands upon thousands of dollars by the company to investigate the complaint. What are the chances that he is going to be hired again in the future if his investigation concludes that the employee was harassed or retaliated against? Well, the answer is zero. On the other hand, what are the chances that he's going to get hired again in the future if he finds that no harassment took place? The answer is very high. Now, I've read dozens of neutral third-party investigation reports. Guess how many concluded that the company broke the law? Almost zero. And the reason is that these HR consultants and attorneys who do these investigations will quickly find themselves without any work if they don't do what their corporate clients are actually paying them for. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you should absolutely complain in writing to HR. Additionally, even though it's a rigged game for the most part, you want to participate in good faith in any investigation that they conduct. And if you want to know more about why I advise this, I recommend you watch my videos on how to complain to HR correctly. I'll link to them at the end. While this third party investigator investigations is, is, is a nasty trick, it doesn't even come close to the worst on today's list. So stay with me. Trick number two misclassification. Now this trick bothers me a lot because it punishes trusting employees who work really hard. And if you don't know what misclassification is, it is when the company pays you a salary when because of your job duties, they are legally required to pay you by the hour. And the main consequence of doing that of this misclassification for you is that you don't get paid overtime when you put in those long hours that the company often makes you work because salaried people do not get overtime. If you're misclassified and you're required to work a lot of hours, the company is essentially stealing thousands of overtime dollars from you each year by not paying you in accordance with the law. So who's the main culprit of this? Well, HR, of course, because when they hire people, their job is to classify employees correctly. They know the legal difference between exempt employees who should get paid a salary and non-exempt employees who should get paid hourly. Why do they do this? 
obviously it's to save the company money. Business owners love to pay salaries because they are predictable and then the company can work the employee for as many hours as they want. If the HR rep misclassifies a bunch of people and gets away with it, they are a quiet hero to the business owner because they save them a ton on labor costs. So how do you know if you're misclassified? That is a topic for a different day. I don't have time to cover it, but let me ask you, would you like me to make a video on misclassification? Because it affects a lot of hardworking people. So let me know in the comment section below. Now the last trick on today's list is the one that drives employees crazy. It is the reason why some wrongful termination verdicts get so big. Before I get to it, I should say something quickly that's very important. You should not take anything said in this video as legal advice. If you need legal advice, pick up the phone and call a lawyer in your state. I have a license to practice law in California, and a lot of people who see my videos want to contact me, and that's awesome. But the free consultation process at my office is for California workers who got fired, and they believe that they have a case for retaliation, discrimination, harassment, or wrongful termination. If that applies to you, don't be afraid to call us for a consultation. Also, if you're getting value out of this video, click the subscribe button down below. I make videos about employee rights, and if you want to stay in the loop, click the button. Trick number three, they lie when they fire you. Now, a lot of people who watch this video have been fired before. Some of you deserve to get fired, right? And most of the time, when HR fires somebody, they don't need to lie about anything because the termination is perfectly legal. But in some termination meetings, HR goes out of their way to lie about why you are being fired. And this is more common than people realize. I've gotten thousands of calls over the years from workers who tell me that they were lied to about why they were fired. Actually, let's do one better. Let's prove how common this is. If you've been lied to during a termination or why you were terminated, can you please describe what happened in the comment section down below? I suspect that we're going to get a lot of people making comments about this. But why is this a trick? Why does it matter? Why would HR lie about why you're being fired? You're being fired. Who cares? Well, my experience says there are two reasons why they do this. Number one, they just don't have the guts to tell you the real reason, but the real reason is perfectly legal. Or number two, and this is the important one, they are trying to conceal the real reason because it's unlawful. And this is the trick. It's called pretext. And this happens so frequently that there's an entire library of case law on it. I made an entire video about pretext like five years ago, which I'll link to at the end if you want to learn more. But if you think about it, it makes sense why HR would do this. Follow with me. Let's go through an example, right? Let's say you complained at work about an OSHA violation or something protected like that. And this complaint really upsets your boss, who's also the owner. He's mad, so he goes to the HR rep and he says, I want you to fire Bob, he's a complainer. Well, the HR rep knows he can't tell you the truth that you're being fired for complaining about a safety violation. But he also can't refuse to do what the owner says, because if he does, he puts his own job in jeopardy. Right? He's stuck between a rock and a hard place. So what is the HR rep going to do? He's going to fire Bob and say that he's being laid off, or his position was eliminated, or he was tardy too many times, or he was a poor performer, or some other bogus reason like that. And this is the trick. HR is lying to cover up the real unlawful reason. And this is why I get so many phone calls, because this happens every single day, hundreds of times a day in California alone. And juries hate it when companies try to cover up unlawful behavior by lying to the employees. And this is one of the main reasons why wrongful termination cases can get so big. Now, if you've watched all my videos on human resources, you know that I don't believe that all HR reps are bad people. There are some great ones out there who fight for their employees. So hopefully your company has one of them. And if you've been fired unlawfully, don't be afraid to call a lawyer. I represent employees in California. The free consultation process at my office is for California workers who got fired and they believe that they have a case for harassment, retaliation, discrimination, or wrongful termination. If that applies to you, 
please reach out for a consultation. I hope this was helpful. Take care.